what is personal data and why is it important? The Personal Data Protection Commission of Singapore recently posted this infographic on the right side of the screen that gives us a very brief introduction on why personal data, what personal data is and why it is important. So these are some examples of uh, documents that contain personal data or are personal data. Your national registration in the identity card number and the card itself, the passport, the foreign identification number or card, all these are personal data. Moreover, the photograph, the photograph of every individual is also personal data. And profiles, profiles are also personal data. What do I mean? Profiles that contain patterns about a person. P profiles that contain information about a person that makes a person identifiable from the other. For example, medical, bank, job, work, school. All these could be personal data as long as they can identify an individual. So even pieces of information put together meaningfully to be able to identify an individual, that is also personal data. And it must be protected because failure to protect this personal data may lead, may lead to a breach of privacy where certain individuals may be, well, perhaps uh, impersonalized or even used for the wrong reasons or maybe to create or do fraudulent uh, transactions. So this is where the Personal Data Protection Act PDPA of Singapore really protects the individual like you and I who are consumers. It also governs how organizations should collect, use and disclose personal data with a reasonable purpose. And it gives a lot of benefits for individuals because it gives benefits the right to have better control over their da personal data. And therefore, we really need to know about these uh, rights given to all individuals. So just to take note, these are some documents that typically contain a lot of personal data and we might want to, be, to pay special attention to some of these documents. That is like the resumes, contracts, even medical records. Because all these contain personal data that need to be protected. So if you are an individual, you might want to be aware of this. And also, if you are part of an organization that handles a lot of personal data, it's a very good idea to find out more on what are some of the obligations of the PDPA. You could go for courses offered by the government, or you could read up on content available from the Personal Data Commissioner Commission website, uh, www.pdpc.gov.sg, the official government website. So my name is Mark Barnabas. I hope you learned something today and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Good day and be safe.